Hi, this is Katie from KT and the Squid. In this video, I'm going to show you how to crochet the Katrine square. So this is a six inch square that I designed for the melange crochet along, which is going on with Marie of Underground Crafter. This is a year long crochet along and um, basically you make six inch squares every week and by the time we get to December you'll have enough squares to join together for a blanket. So I will link to Marie's post about the crochet along as well as where you can find the free pattern from me. For my square, I used Fashion Erin from King Cole. This is a worsted weight yarn. I will link to where you can find a stockist of King Cole yarn. I'm also using a J or six millimeter hook. So for this pattern, I actually didn't do a gauge. Because the square is only six inches, I figured you just make the square and if your sizing is off, you can adjust your hook size. You would spend as much time making a gauge swatch, so that's why I did it that way. To start your square, you're going to make a magic ring. There's a few different ways that people like to start this. I'm going to show you how I do it. So this is my yarn, this is my tail end, and then this part is going to my skein. So I take the working yarn coming from my skein and I loop it under the tail. So I just make a loop with it going under the tail end. And then I bring it up and I bring it through the loop almost like you're making a slip knot. And then I insert my hook into that loop. And because this is going to start with a chain three, I'm going to go ahead and uh, use that loop to make a chain three. So one, two, three. So there I have my magic loop and my chain three. This chain three is going to count as a stitch. And then for the rest of the round, you're going to double crochet 11 times into the circle so that you have a total of 12 double crochets. So when I work into my magic circle, I'm going to do a double crochet so I have my yarn over. I'm actually going to turn it so that I am working over this part that has the extra tail wrapped around. So I'm going to double crochet 11 times. So here I have my 11 double crochets plus my chain 3 which is also counts as double crochet so it's 12. Next you're going to take the end of your yarn and you're just going to pull it closed to make a nice little circle. And then to complete the first round you're going to join with a slip stitch to that chain, the top of the chain 3. And that's round 1. So for round two, you're going to chain two. That's going to count as a half double crochet. And then you're going to front post double crochet into the same stitch, so that chain three. Next, you'll half double crochet into the next stitch and front post double crochet into that same stitch. And you'll repeat that all the way around for every stitch. So half double crochet, and then front post double crochet into that same stitch. So when you get to the end of round two, you'll have 24 stitches. So every double crochet will have a half double crochet from post double crochet in it. When you get to the end of round two, you're going to join with a slip stitch to the top of that chain two. And here we have the round two completed. So for round three, you're going to chain two and this does not count as a stitch. And then working all the way around, you're going to be working into the back loop only. Next, we'll double crochet two together over the first two stitches. So that's the half double, the chain two that counted as a half double crochet, and then into the front post double crochet. 
and then you'll chain two and repeat that across. So I'll show you the half double crochet two together in case you need a refresher of what that is. So it's just a yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through two, and then yarn over, pull through all three. And then you'll chain two and repeat that all the way across. So half double crochet two together, chain two all the way around. And just in case it wasn't clear, you are working into the back loop only of this round. So make sure you're inserting, make sure you're inserting your hook into that back loop only. To complete round three, you're going to join with a slip stitch to the first stitch. And here's what round three will look like. It's hard to tell because of the background of it's almost the same color as my yarn, but you will have these spaces here. For round four, you're going to chain one, and that does not count as a stitch. So you will single crochet into that first stitch, the half double crochet two together. And then you'll work three single crochets into this chain two space. So one, two, three. And you'll repeat that all the way around, so you will single crochet into that half double crochet two together, and then three single crochet into the chain two space. And do that all the way around. To complete round four, you will join with a slip stitch to the first single crochet. Here's what it'll look like after row four. You should have 48 stitches, so do make sure that you count your stitches because if it's off, the next round is not gonna work. So we have completed our circle. Next, we're going to square it off to make the square. For round five, you're going to chain two and then in this first stitch, you're going to work two double crochets, a chain two, and two double crochets, all in this one stitch, and that's going to be the corner of your square. So you'll double crochet twice, that's one, two, chain two, and then two double crochets, so one, two. So that will end up being your corner of your square. And you'll half double crochet into the next three stitches. So one, two, three. Next you're going to single crochet into the next five. Two, three, four, and five. And then you'll half double crochet into the next three. And then you'll repeat that whole sequence. So we're going to do the next corner, which is two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet. So one double crochet, two, chain two, and then two double crochet. All in the same stitch to make that corner. 
So you can see we have one side of the square completed. And then repeat that same sequence again. So uh, three half double crochet or double crochet into the next three stitches is what I should say. So that's three and then five single crochet into the next five stitches. Then half double crochet into the next three. And then you'll just repeat the same thing two more times. To finish round five, you're going to join with a slip stitch to the first double crochet. And then it should look like a square now. So for round six, you're going to chain one, which I already did, and that doesn't count as a stitch. Then you're going to single crochet into these first two stitches. And then you'll work a single crochet, chain two, single crochet into the chain two space. So single crochet, chain two, and single crochet. So next you're going to single crochet all the way across this side and make sure you're not skipping this first stitch here because that tends to hide underneath the stitch in the corner. So make sure you get that one. It should be um, 15 stitches across. So I'll single crochet into that until you get to the next chain two space. When you get to the chain two space, you'll do a single crochet chain two, single crochet again. You'll repeat that across this side and this side. When you get to the last chain two space, you'll do the same thing, single crochet, chain two, single crochet, and then you'll single crochet into each of these remaining stitches. To finish row six, you'll join with a slip stitch to the first stitch. And here's what it'll look like. There's just one more round left. So round seven is basically the same as round six, only we're going to be working into the back loops of the stitches. So for round seven, you're going to chain one. And then working into the back loops only, you're going to single crochet into these first uh, three stitches. And then the corners are the same. You're going to single crochet, chain two, single crochet, and then you'll single crochet across this side. Just remember you're working into the back loop only, so I believe this is 17 stitches. So single crochet all the way across, just going into the back loop. Here I completed that first side. When you get to the next chain two space, you'll start that over. So you will single crochet, chain two, single crochet. And then you will single crochet across this other side, working into the back loops only. Single crochet, chain two, single crochet into that chain two space. And then work across this other side to the last uh, chain two corner. At the last corner, again, you'll single crochet, chain two, single crochet, and then you will single crochet into the back loop only all the way across this last side until you get to the first stitch of the round. To finish off the last round, you can fasten off and do an invisible join if you'd like, or you can just join with a slip stitch and fasten off. So that's the completed square. What you want to do before you actually fasten off is you should probably measure it to make sure it's your six inches or at least the same size as all your other squares. And then you can block it if you'd like. Uh, weave in your ends and then it'll be ready to join to the rest of your squares. 
at the end of the crochet along. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask. And if you'd like to see more video tutorials from me, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Again, like I said, I'll have links to this free pattern as well as all the information to the crochet along from Marie's blog. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.